day is Monday, and every other Monday I go reselling for like 13 hours. And I'm gonna try to spend about $1,500. I actually sold something on eBay, so I have to go grab that and ship it. The reason that I say I'm trying to spend $1,500 rather than like make some certain amount of money is because the way that I like to resell is to only buy products that are gonna make me 100% or more profit margin. If I spend $1,500, and I should make about $1,500, and since I go reselling every two weeks, that means I should be making around $3,000 with the purchases that would make me about $3,000 worth of profit if everything was to sell. And that so far has proved to be enough for me to live on. Perfect. And then instead of having to fill this whole box up, break it down to be the size of my stuff. <laughs> Two pounds, 13 ounces. That kind of sucks, because I'm pretty sure I only put two pounds in my shipping. 20, 15, five. Because eBay gives you such a discount on shipping, even though the shipping cost that I had went up by about a dollar, I'm still under what the buyer paid for shipping. Print that out, stick it on, pack up our lunch. We're probably gonna be at our first store at nine o'clock, and we'll probably be home at about 11.30, or if we could spend $1,500 before that. I always like to do this as fast as I can, because the reason that I resell is so that I can buy time to make this YouTube channel. That's what let me quit my job. Reselling has really turned into more of what I do. That's just what's happened as I've been having a little bit tougher time with my mental health. I'm hoping that today we can do it real fast and you guys can see the process. And if there's anything you have questions about, definitely let me know while I'm doing it. So we have a couple things left that we have to do before I can actually get going for the day. There's a lot of things that we keep in our trunk for like adventures that I have to take out every time that I go reselling. It always turns out to be a lot more prep than I want it to be. Should be enough room for about $1,500 worth of the stuff, if not more. But today, this is what we're looking at. Four Burlingtons, six Walmarts, three Marshalls, seven Rosses, two Ollie's Bargain Markets, two TJ Maxx, and two Academy Sports and Outdoor Stores. 20 Six stores in total, trying to spend fifteen hundred dollars. Don't forget to track your mileage. You're at the new Burlington. See, I've returned to me. I realized that this wasn't supposed to be returned. I was supposed to sell it on eBay, uh, but I just checked the comps again, and there's a couple that have sold, but they sold for right around the price that I bought it for. So I'm kind of glad I didn't list it. First thing I found, the main reason why I'm picking them up is because they're only 10 bucks. So if I can find athletic shoes for 10 bucks, even if I sell them for 20 or 30, I'll still end up making money on them. Proceed to register three. All right, so we're able to spend $25. Got a bag and some shoes. Bag is like 400 sales rank on Amazon. Anything under like a thousand, I'll buy it like a 50% profit margin, no problem, because that means it's gonna get there and sell pretty much the same day. All right, store number two. Wendy, yeah. we're about 25 minutes per store, 30 minutes per store. So one hour for about hopefully should be $70 plus in profit. A lot of the stuff that I was able to buy in there is more than 100% profit, which gives me some margin to buy some stuff that I know will sell, but is that a little bit lower profit margin? I normally head to clearance, maybe a little bit over here, but then over to the fishing section. 1040 now, I anticipate it'll be 11 when I get home, so 12 more hours on the work. Here's one big tip that I have. So you see this right here shows $3.19. But it's in a section of a bunch of other clearance stuff, or sometimes the price is different here than it is. You can always get whatever the lower price is if you can find it in their store. But I come over here to the price scanner, and it's only $1.97. So I'm not gonna buy it because I would only make about 25%. But that is definitely something that I've taken advantage of a lot. And especially if that was to say $3.29 and this was to say $1, I could always walk out with whatever cashier and show them the dollar price and get it for that price. One thing that I really like about small stuff is this two bags are $177. First Walmart of the day. And all of this pretty much has to get returned. I hate returning stuff, but you gotta do it if Amazon doesn't let you sell it. One of the nice things about living in a bigger city to resell is that my next door is literally right there. All right, I'll walk with you guys a little bit through this store. That way you can see a little bit of my process as I'm going through it. I'll start off with the shoes. I like Marshalls because they often have like boxes with their shoes too. Especially since I come here a lot, I uh, there's just stuff that I've seen before. Yeah, I like looking for the orange boxes because a lot of times they'll have prices on them. And for instance, this is something that I haven't seen before and something I'll likely pick up if it's at a good price. They're not the top end, but they're one marked down. So what I really like about that is a lot of the comps were in the 50 to $70 range. And because it's something that I'm gonna keep in my house, I keep the tags with it. So there's not a lot of risk. The one thing I don't like is the size. So that's a six and a half. Eight through like 12 are normally pretty good. Sometimes it's good if you look in these white boxes. Ooh, it's on clearance for 13. They come with the spikes. You just need to be at a third dollar price point for us to make 100% profit. And they so not as good as I thought. They have comps that are right around $30, but a lot of them showed the bag in the picture. If I come back and they're marked down to like 8 or $6, I think they'll be worth picking up. Then I come over here, the journals, 
because sometimes you can find good prices on journals like some Ray Dunn stuff sells pretty decent the moleskin stuff is here sometimes I'm not really seeing anything here today when I started selling I would like really scan everything but now that I kind of know what I've been selling I'll normally just come and start looking for what I already know is good and if I can find that throughout the day, then I'll just sell that. Try and only spend a certain amount of money because I'm not trying to do this to make the most money in the world. I'm just trying to buy time back for myself. But if I'm having a bad day, I'll start scanning a lot of extra stuff. So then I'll come down here and there's women's athletic stuff, which I've sold a lot of. There's men's athletic stuff over in the corner and then electronics. And that's pretty much what I'll look through. But there's so much stuff that I'm sure I'm passing up, especially in clothes and other things, the stuff that I'm not even allowed to sell that maybe it's different for you. Is see anything else good? Uh, so it's pretty much just this. Twenty-one twenty-nine. We spent so far three hundred and sixty-six dollars and forty-eight cents. It's only probably been about two to two and a half hours in stores. Because a lot of the stuff that I bought now was replenishing things that I knew would sell. With like the profit margin, we're probably at around eighty to ninety percent. So that means we're at probably about three hundred dollars worth of profit. Eleven hundred and fifty dollars left to spend. Post office and then the Ross were on the way to the rest of the stuff, so we're just gonna do that first. Great. Thank you so much. Have a good one. That always feels good because that means I actually made money rather than just spent it. A little bit of a change of plans. Carissa literally just called me and said my brother-in-law rented a beach house in Pensacola six hours away from Wednesday through Saturday. That means that I I have to make sure I buy everything today because I have to do my shipment tomorrow then. This just became a little bit more important that I buy everything today. Otherwise, I might have to go reselling next week, which would really suck. And then shoes. That's where I to go first, but I saw those. There's been a couple times over the past two months there have been top end men's soccer cleats. I see someone like pick them up in a minute of me getting there, which means that if I went here first, I could have got them. So I'm pretty sure it literally just happened again. I saw a guy with a pair of soccer cleats with his phone out. Oh. That sucks. Nothing else really new. I'll check these out, see if it can be a nope. Time to look at the other stuff next door. On to the next door. There was one other thing in there that I really wanted to buy. It looked like it had been a repackaged upside down. And obviously if I'm gonna sell it new, I want everything to be as perfect as possible. I'm still under $500 for the day, which is getting a little more daunting. Well, luckily Marshalls is right there. Boom. Oh yeah, we're starting out pretty good. And it's a size nine. I haven't found good stuff at Marshalls in a while. 8305. So I'm really excited about this Ollie's and this kind of area that I'm in right now because I haven't been here in probably a month and a half because I haven't needed to come out this way. A lot of times what happens when you're reselling in a specific area, you might go through your inventory faster than they can replenish inventory that's worth it for you. Obviously they're getting stuff all the time, but most of their stuff is like garbage or not stuff that you can resell very well. Ollie's always has the worst cards. Oh, oh. this one's not good when you start turning it. Almost halfway there. Four more stores in this area to go to before I have to jet up a little bit more north. I'm really happy with how Ollie's turned out. That's where I would like to get to the academy. It's all the way on the other side of town. By eight o'clock, try to rush through this. Yeah, off the bat, we got some cool stuff. It's not super valuable, but it looks really cool. That's good, that's good. Size nine, bro. Yes, good stuff. $25. I don't like 25 bucks. Like 19 bucks. That's not great. Comps are like around 40 or so. I really like that it. it's a size nine. Problem is just that the solds just aren't high enough. Got four things there. Just under halfway there. We've been out for six hours. We got about six or seven hours left. So excited about these. Here's the top end model. You can't talk through the mess, but I'm super, super happy. You gotta look up, but they look sweet. So I'm hoping that they're super nice. These ones are not either. I want to go back all the way and get a cart. I'm just grabbing a basket because I did find one other pair. So I like those because those are like an automatic fifty to hundred dollars. But these are only good. And these I could probably sell and make thirty dollars. I'd have to wait a while because there's a lot of current listings. This is a good size. It's eight and a half. There's a lot of current listings and only one comparable sold. These I can definitely sell even though they're thirty dollars. I should be able to get sixty dollars no problem. These should be able to sell for thirty, so I can make about fifteen dollars on a ten dollar purchase. These I should be able to sell for eighty-five to hundred because they're the nicest ones. Good stuff though. Almost there. Really, it has been the best for us today, but hopefully we can grab some stuff here. And if it's not a lot of stuff that I find, that is a long line. These are garbage. I like the price, seven bucks, but it's still size eight. Ooh, yeah, ten dollars. Let me check these. So they're selling for thirty dollars, fifty dollars, thirty dollars, fifty dollars to be able to spend ten dollars and make between 50 and 35, so. Thank you very much. We got a pretty 
it's a decent drive. It'll probably be half an hour. I actually completely forgot about a Walmart. We're gonna be pretty tight on time. About six hours left of sourcing. Spend another $600. So that's a hundred bucks an hour. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do. Time for some more returns. Sorry, I totally don't know where this receipt is. Crap, I'm gonna have to return this later. Pretty sparse today. Yeah. One of the things that's so cool about living in Florida. Finally made it to Ross. Don't want to find some of these in a nicer size. I found a bunch of small ones, but they don't have any sold comparables. I think that's just because they haven't been on eBay for a while because they're really nice. These guys aren't good. Uh, this one is, but it's a little bit bigger of a size. It's size 12 and a half. And I already have the other one. Look to see if there's anything else in the store. So there's a lot of these. And if you got ACC on a pair of Nike cleats, they're probably really nice. Like that's their top end. Pretty much always gonna be really nice and usually worth some money. Except for when they're juniors. And I actually looked those up and there were a lot of comps for different colorways than that one. Only when I look up like junior cleats, especially even the nicest ones on eBay for comps, they're just not there. I think I'm gonna start looking them up a little bit more, but I don't see them all that often anyways. We're officially over a thousand. 470 bucks to go. So sad, just two things. Still about 450 bucks to go. The first time I've got skunked today. That is definitely not gonna help my cause. Hey buddy. Hopefully you got some stuff for me. Not bad. I'm gonna say I think it's probably around 130. 176 If you want your receipt emailed or printed, if you just want it printed, hit all these um. people don't have their emails. <laughs> We're under 300, which is a good thing. We're losing daylight. Walmart number three. The thing that's interesting about this Walmart is it's right next to UCF or University of Central Florida. So there's a lot of times really different things, especially on clearance here than there are at other Walmarts. All the other Walmarts had a bare clearance aisle, but this one has some stuff. Ooh, arrows, that's weird. I not find a whole lot. I got these three gloves, which will make me over 100%. But a lot of the stuff that was over there, the arrow stuff that I showed you guys, it seems like it's the first time it's going on clearance and the clearance price is right around what you would get from Amazon. Now the good thing about Walmart is since I come here every two weeks, every four weeks, those clearance prices drop if the inventory doesn't sell. A lot of times when I'll see something, I'll say, ah, I'm gonna wait on this. I'm just like I showed in my eBay video. Then I'll come back to it and I'll be able to potentially buy it if it's still there. See how much else. I got $220 left to spend. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Yes. <gasps> and this is nine-ish? Ooh, size eight. It's a better size. If you're wondering how I'm like, how I know just by doing that, you could tell a little bit in the texturing, but it looks honestly pretty similar to more of this micro texture. Also, the way that the tongue interlaces with this. Most of the time, I can either tell by the tongue or the feel or the shine of something. Decent too. Oh no, the, it's a very small size. If it was any bigger, I would be getting those. But for $13, anything that's below 15, I really like, because I can sell for as low as 30. And most like, decent athletic shoes, especially ones that originally were priced over $80. We'll be able to sell for 30 bucks, no problem. 76 bucks, not bad. We're at our good buddy TJ Maxx. And hopefully we can get this last $150 spent. Ross right over there. There's a Walmart a couple seconds down the road. There's a couple of Rosses further down the road, but they're pretty far. So I prefer not to go there. Get messed up. Couple of goodies. I think it's only like 20 bucks though. I just need five pairs of really nice soccer cleats. Is that too much to ask? Nope. It is safe to say that it was too much to ask. That looks like eight bucks. I thought I was gonna be driving home right now. Man, I got $125 to go. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go to one of those Rosses. Ugh, 41 bucks. Nope. Okay, this makes me feel better. If you remember like way back when I said this. And shoes. Let's go first. There's been a couple times over the past two months that there have been top end so men's soccer cleats. I see someone like pick them up in a minute of me getting there. And then this. I'm pretty sure it literally just happened again. I saw a guy with a pair of soccer cleats with his phone out. This is what I saw in the guy's hands. I would pretty much only sell them if they're like 20.2 or above. For $30 though, I highly doubt that they'll be worth anything. But there's some pretty good looking stuff over here. But I am glad to know that I probably don't lose it. I'm intrigued by this. Oh, that feels so crappy though. The last hope. Ooh, still intact. This is quite frustrating. I got something. Is that positive? Hi, how are ya? Oh, 75. I just noticed on the side over there, and it says that there's a Burlington in this plaza too. Just under $30 to spend. Some of these for sale already. Ooh, haven't seen these in a while. What are they, five bucks? $8. I've just had a lot of workout stuff that I buy at Burlington and Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Normally more expensive at Ross. These 
are eight dollars instead of five dollars i can still make money on eight dollars but like a dollar eight dollars too and those are five or six dollars at other places so this is an example of something that i'm gonna be kicking myself over this i'm sure was at other rosses as well as the one i'm in now and i just saw two of these and i'm sure that there were more of these at other rosses that i've been to today these are four dollars and right now they're selling for about 20 bucks which means you get back about 17 or 18 dollars so it's about a 300 percent profit margin man that sucks that's why you just keep scanning stuff still on my 20 dollars dang it $16.38 left. Oh, man, that's gonna suck with workers. Dang, if these were blue, I would be so happy right now. Nope, gosh. These are the pros, not the elites. I saw the tongue. My mind was playing tricks on me, though. It was a mirage. These are also crap. I can't forget to check the bags here, though. Might be our saving grace right here. These Swiss gear bags. Yeah. $17. Couple things I really like about this, $17. Obviously it's not a 100% profit margin. Cause after taxes is gonna be right around 18 and change. So it'll really only be $15 of profit. That means that the price can drop by over $15 and I still will break even. I say over $15 because the Amazon's fees are associated with price. So the price goes down, their fees go down by a little bit as well. I'll check around for the rest of the store. We'll check out and actually head home. That's so exciting. It's gonna be 73, 76. Thank you. So it looks like we're at 15, 57, 38. All right, I'm tired. Did it! We just gotta move everything inside and organize it, and then we'll run through some stats on the beach. The work is never over. Honestly, this doesn't feel like it's $1,500 worth of stuff. The next step is going to be to sort all of it based on where it is from, as in a store, because I like to track kind of my profit margin per store and put it into my inventory system. And then I'll tell you guys how much we made by store. Should make total, how much is gonna be eBay, how much is gonna be Amazon. I got all the stuff organized here for Amazon. Now I'm just gonna make drafts for all my eBay stuff and then Actually, get to bed. It was 1.47, and I'm finally done, and I'm going to bed. Run through some numbers based on what we bought this past week. We went out for 17 and a half hours on Tuesday in order to do the shipment. I worked from about 8.45 to 4.20. We drove 105 miles during the whole time that we were out reselling. And this is what we ended up spending, and then the profits from each store, and the ROIs from each store. So we're just going to talk through the total amounts. I was actually super happy and surprised by Amazon, because we only ended up spending $1,216.76, and that actually amounts to a $1,546 profit if everything was to sell which is an roi of 127 percent now the reason that i like that is because like i said at the beginning of the video i'm really only trying to buy about 1500 dollars worth of profit every single two weeks and so because for amazon i've been able to send in about 1500 dollars of profit every two weeks i'm using ebay more as an emergency fund or a little bit of a buffer in the business what's cool is i was also able to spend 349 dollars and 66 cents on ebay stuff which amounted to a 312 dollar and 48 cent profit now for ebay i did put the most conservative numbers, basically the minimums that I was willing to take for everything. So I am probably gonna sell stuff for more than what's on here. For instance, I already was able to sell one of those black cleats. It literally sold the day that I did the shipment for Amazon. On here, I have a sale of $75, but it sold for $90. So just based on that, if I sell a couple more items like that, it's probably gonna be more than that $312 profit that I have down here. Overall numbers, I spent $1,566.42. We have $1,546.13 of profit for Amazon, plus $332 and 85 cents of profit for eBay for a grand total of $1,878.98 worth of profit if everything was to sell. So that gives us an overall profit margin or return on investment of 119.95%. We worked 24 and three quarter hours. And so 1,878 and 88 cents divided by 24 and three quarter hours is $75.92 per hour. I think that's a really cool number, but it's not something that I dwell on too much because it's not really sustainable for me to do that, at least at the level that I am reselling, because I would have to go out every single day and first off I wouldn't want to do that but second off my inventory would dry up pretty quickly and I'd have to resort to buying things that were at a lower profit margin because I try to pick up everything at the highest profit margin possible first. For more in-depth look at how I list things on eBay watch this video right here otherwise leave any questions that you have down below. It really mean a lot to me if you'd hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and I do think that almost anybody can do reselling but it does take a little bit of a barrier to entry either in terms of time or in terms of capital. Go out and do that if you want to otherwise subscribe and I'll teach you how to make money some other ways or just how to keep the money that you make. Peace.